Hi nerds. So today we're going to look at concentration and how to calculate it as a percentage by mass. So composition percentage by mass. Um, we want to be able to calculate this by the end of it and we'll know we can do that when we can do it independently. So this is really common in a household context. For example, a lot of the solutions, particularly the dangerous ones like bleaches or whatever, they are the ones which are which will be usually have it. So those, those solutions will usually have a percentage uh, by mass as their as their calculation to how strong they are. And it's a really simple calculation. So, but there's a little trick in it. So, concentration, as in percentage composition, is the mass of the solute, that which is dissolved, divided by the total mass of the solution, not the solvent, the solution. Both of those are in grams, times 100 to make it a percentage. So let's have a look at an example of this. If we've got sodium hydroxide and we dissolve 296 grams of that sodium hydroxide into 500 grams, 500 milliliters, of water, we want to calculate the composition of, by percentage mass, of sodium hydroxide. So the first thing we need to work out, and this is a little trick part, is the total mass of solution. It's 296 grams for the sodium hydroxide and 500 grams for the mass of the water. So when we add that together, that gives us 796 grams. So that's our total mass of solution. So now that we've got our, our knowns, let's work out our unknown. So the composition um, by percent, percentage composition of sodium hydroxide, see how it's um, labeled just here in the subscript, um, equals mass of sodium hydroxide over the mass of the total solution times 100. So that's 296 divided by 796 times 100. And this gives us 37.2%. Now that we've got this number, you really should be thinking about what other concentration could we make from this information here? We have like the milliliters of water, the grams, we can look up the uh, mass, the, the molar masses of sodium hydroxide and so forth. And we can see that there are different types of concentrations we can go from here. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye now.